If you're working on your failure mode and effects analysis and you find that you need an additional row, perhaps here you need, want to add an additional uh, hazard in this case. So what you do is click on the next available line here and you would insert a row as you would always in Excel, it would insert a row. But unfortunately that doesn't copy down all the formulations and so forth. For instance, if you come over here and look at the cell M, uh, 16 right here. You'll notice there's no formula. There's a formula above. That's not getting copied down when you do an insert. What you need to do is go to one of the blank rows down below the failure mode and effects analysis. Highlight that row and copy it. Right mouse button, do a copy. Go to the new blank row and hit the right button and do a paste. That will actually place all the formulas in the right spot so you can continue to use it here. So let's say there was another a, a hazard here. You could click on the drop down and maybe say it was uh, bending at the waist here for this one. Remember this is the one with the guys here. Obviously bending at the waist is an issue right there. So you can come in here and you can say uh, need to raise machine. Right and then you can do the occurrence. Basically it happens every time just like before in our previous example. The severity again is going to be moderate and it's almost certain you're going to meet that again. And it gives you the same analysis right here. And then you can go ahead what you're going to do with here. And it's also going to be raised machine and so forth. So again, the key thing is when you want to insert a row, and uh, let's say you find another one here, you want to insert a row here, be sure and do select the row, do the regular insert of a row in Excel, but that's not copying the formulations over. You need to make sure the formulations are coming in. So what you want to do is go to another row below the table here and do a copy and place it into the new blank row, paste it in, right? And then if you come out here to the right, you'll find that all the formulas are in place here as you continue to work with your uh, FMEA sheet.